They called them crazy when they started out. Said seventeen's too young to know what love's about. They've been together fifty-eight years now. That's crazy. He brought home sixty-seven bucks a week. Bought a little two-bedroom house on Maple Street, where she blessed him with six more mouths to feed. That's crazy. Just ask him how he did it. He'll say, "Pull up a seat." It'll only take a minute to tell you everything. Be a best friend. Tell the truth. Them home computers, boy, they'll never take off. Well, he sold his one-man shop to Microsoft, and they paid like crazy. Just ask him how he made it; he'll tell you faith and sweat and the heart of a faithful woman who never let him forget. Cool. When we watched Rachel McAdams and Channing Tatum exchange their vows almost eight years ago on our first date, I truly hoped that we would be here someday. But it wasn't hope that got us to this place. It was backseat hand-holding, late night texting, despair lunch dates, a few road trips, several hundred back rubs, and a hell of a lot of silliness. Now that it's our turn to commit to forever, I vow to love you unconditionally, to be patient with you, with myself and with the family we create. I vow to love you better tomorrow than I did today because you are the one I'm choosing for right now and for forever. Elizabeth, when I think back on our last seven years, my memories are dominated by all of the moments where we experienced something new together. I feel so fortunate to have had you by my side while we learned to drive, learned to shop for insurance, and learned to compromise and make decisions together. These special moments where we grow as individuals and closer together as partners are the ones that I am so excited to keep sharing and experiencing with you. I vow to love you unconditionally and without exception. <laughs> I will always support your decisions, build you up as you work towards your aspirations, and be there to celebrate your achievements. I will always be your adventure buddy under black clouds or blue sky, on a beach or at the highest mountain peak. I look forward to looking back on this day as one of many fond memories that we'll continue creating together. <laughs> We struggled about what kind of advice we could give you, and I think Cole and Liz have already figured it out. You've learned that sometimes you step forward, sometimes you step back, but most of the time you move forward together, maybe full of kindness, maybe well, maybe peaceful and at ease, and maybe happy to Cole and Liz. I've known Liz, I think, since she was about seven or eight years old. Now, I never could have imagined staring down at a little eight-year-old girl 
that uh, I'd be up at a podium with a mic in hand, a beer in hand, emceeing her wedding all these years later. But I'm honored to have the opportunity and wish her and Cole nothing but the best as they take this next adventure in life together. We look forward to all the years you have coming now, Liz. Um, we're happy you're moving on a new chapter in your life. That's what you're supposed to do. That's how we, what we raised you for. Um, Mom and I are beyond proud of all that you, you and Cole have done and accomplished since you started dating seven years ago. You planned your trips, planned your careers, and you're living your dreams. To Liz and Cole. <laughs> Cheers. It's happening to me. I've already forgotten every woman but you, oh darling. Wonder